Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Grugs here, Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back, Troops Legionnaires, new recruits to another Legion premiere. And uh, today, in front of you, you see the Zapas Expandable. All right, this has the black coating, black uh, G10 scales. It's pretty nice knife, man, and it comes with an excellent sheath and uh, carry system. I, I really do like this one, man. Uh, reasonable price. I think I've got this for a little over 50 bucks on Chicago Knife Works. Pretty much every place else has it for like 90 to a hundred dollars. But if you go to, to uh, Chicago Knife Works and you like this one, you can go pick this one up over there for a pretty good price. Uh, before we get into the uh, specs, let me know what you all have in your pockets. And today I am carrying my Langren Tonto. This is 14C28 and steel. Let me all know what you are carrying in the chat or in the comments section. Excellent. Let's, let's go over some specs on this knife. So we're looking at an overall length of 11.1 inch with a blade length of 6.42 inch. The blade steel is nmv which is polish uh steel but it's american o2 steel so you've all heard of o1 well this is o2 steel uh but the poles call it uh nmv so pretty pretty cool uh let's see what else i got here uh the handle length is 4.68 inch and the handle material is G10. Um, it's a plain edge, drop point. I, I say it's all combat knife, man. This is something that you would definitely take in into combat. And uh, the weight is 265 grams, which I'm not sure what it is to ounces, but I'll make sure that I'll make the change in the description section and in the comments section for everybody. Hopefully I didn't forget anything, but if I did, I'll make sure that all this information is in the description and comment section. All right, now, let's take a look at this pretty badass blade. Check it out, man. Check out this drop point, man. Woo, that is nice. So it is a high saber grind. Um, there are some pretty good reviews on this knife on YouTube, but mostly foreign, like from Germany. I guess this knife is, these knives, Zapas knives are pretty popular in Germany. Um, so yeah, I I can't wait to test this out and try it out, but I wanted to show everybody first, share this with everybody. Very, very sharp knife. As you can see, I made all those feather sticks with this knife, so very cool, wiped it all down. But uh, let's take a close look at this blade. So it's an awesome drop point, mid saber, no swedge, very very thick spine okay as you could see over here some light jimping uh the coating makes it a little bit slippery i'm not sure about the stone washes they all come in different uh uh different kind of looks they have a uh, brown my you know brown g10 scales um different type of handle texturing but i i kind of like this one especially for the price that i got it for uh, this has a very slight sharpening choil, which is okay. I know a lot of people will appreciate this, you know, this blade. It's all blade, no finger choil. Uh, slight guard, okay, finger guard right here. Uh, well done G10 scales, you know, removable. Uh, the texturing is pretty good. It's, it's grippy, you know, definitely grippy. So it won't slip in your hands, um, as you can see now. It is pretty nice. So the fit and finish on this knife is good. This particular model is really nice. I, I like it. I think it's just, just awesome. Now I will leave information on the uh, NMV or O2 steel in the comments section and the description section. But we all heard of O1 and this is O2 tool steel. So it's pretty cool. It's got a slight little bird's beakish area over here. It has a lanyard hole. Full tang goodness, as you can see, it's all blacked out. 
Um, everything is very flush. Uh, I say this is a good 98% fit and finish. It does have some slight quirks here and there, but you know, they apparently these are all handmade. These are all handmade knives from Poland. And uh, I mean, for the price that I'm got, I've got this for, it's, I, you know, I don't care about the small little blemishes or whatever. It just, I mean, overall, it's pretty good. And I've seen people beat on this knife on uh, YouTube. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the German bushcrafters or German channels out there, you know, they, they put it to the test and it seems to be pretty good, man. The feel is excellent. Um, I think you do have room for, you know, one more finger here. And so my point is being, if you have a bigger hands, I think you would appreciate the size of the handle. Um, so let's see. Yeah, I mean, the fit and finish looks pretty good. I mean, the coating has a little, little bubble spots and stuff like that. But if you're going to be using it out in the field, you know, who cares, man? Uh, the spine... I, I think because of the coating um, is is slick, right? It's slick, but I bet you if you take a close look, I am removing my nail material. That's because I'm pressing down a little bit harder on it. So I, I, you know, once I test it out, we'll see if it's capable of scraping, you know, the wood in case you need to make some wood fluff or take off the bark, whatever. But yeah, man, just really nicely done, in my opinion, especially for handmade for this price. Again, I got this off of Chicago Knife Works for about less, less than 60 bucks. Um, they don't have too many. I don't know if Chicago Knife Works is restocking these. All right, but every place else that I've seen, that's like $100, 90, 90 to $100. So um, if you're interested, definitely check out Chicago Knife Works. And uh, usually, you know, if you buy a few, a few knives, you get free shipping and you don't pay any tax, which is, you know, phenomenal. Uh, there's really not much more I could say about this knife, man. But, um, you know, the next thing I need to do is test this sucker out, man. But it's, it's, it's a nice knife. Now, let's take a look at the sheath because I definitely like the sheath. All right. Check it out. Pretty nice, man. It's nice, thick. Uh, I have to double check if this is Kydex. I think it is. Or it might be just a injected molded plastic of some sort. I, I have to double check. I am not sure. I didn't see, I didn't notice it in the description section. In fact, let me just take a quick look on my phone. If it says anything. It just says sheath included. Uh, does not say, oh, okay. The knife comes with a Kydex sheath with nylon belt loop for safe transportation on a belt or backpack. Okay, so this is Kydex. Good. All right, so got that straightened out. And what I like about this sheath, it's taco style. I'm sorry, not taco style, pancake style. And it has the eyelet holes, right? And it has the slots. Um, I wouldn't mind it a couple of more slots over here. That's just for versatility. Again, you can get a pouch and do whatever, you know, just in my opinion, very versatile sheath this way. Uh, I love the carry system. They do sell this part right here separate. All right. The only thing is, is that uh, I don't think Chicago Knife Works sells this, this part right here only, but the people in Poland do, and it'll take about a month or two to get to you um, if they're going to ship it from Poland, because I know that a lot of these knives are being shipped directly from Poland. Or, yeah, it's, I, Zapas has a website, and they do direct shipping. And there's also a couple other sites um, from Europe that does uh, shipping of these of these knives and this accessory. So you may want to look into it. But I, this, is, this is what I wish was on every one of my knives instead of those tech locks. You know, those Chinese tech locks. I would rather have this even over the American tech lock. Um... I, th I think this is awesome, you know, nylon belt loop. This is, this is steel. It's not Kydex, which is pretty nice. I'm always looking for a Kydex piece, uh, but they have this one with a steel. So, you know, 
fantastic, man. And uh, the good thing about this is I can remove this now and, and put it on different sheaths as long as they, you know, they fit the whole structure. That's kind of why I like the idea of these, these slots, right? Uh, I don't know if you agree with me or not. Let me know in the comments or in the uh, chat section. But it's a great sheath, man. You know, it's it's pretty decent. Let me pop the knife in for everybody. Okay, there we go. That's pretty nice, man. It's a pretty nice setup. Okay, put it on the hip. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. And again, you can always buy third-party options, or if you have an extra, you know, tech lock from the many Chinese knives you might have or American knives, you could pop a, you know, the tech lock here or whatever third party option that you could think of pouch, you know, ferro rod. Uh, if it's just combat, just uh, maybe you want to get some mole setups over here, attach it to your vest, your pack, what have you. I don't, you know, I don't know how, what you operators and shooters out there do nowadays. Um, but, uh, there's nothing wrong with this knife as a combat knife. And I've seen people, you know, on YouTube channels beat the living daylights out of this knife. And it uh, it does pretty good, you know. They baton with it, etc. And if you're going to be using it under combat conditions, I doubt you're going to be batoning. Maybe do a little bit of prying, maybe. But uh, it's, a nice, it's a nice blade. And again, you know, let me reiterate that um, Chicago Knife Works still has some of these in stock, man. And... He sell, they're selling them at a great price where everybody else is selling them like $90 to $100. Chicago Knife Force has them less than 60 bucks. So give them a look-see, man, and check them out. But, yeah, let's take a good close look at this blade. All right. There's that high saber. It's just, I don't know, the coating is just really done nice. There's the logo, Zappos, NMV Steel. Again, this is... U.S. equivalent to O2. Removable scales. Slight uh, sharpening choil guard. Full tank goodness. All right. G10. Lanyard hole. Little bird's beakish. Now, it is kind of blocky, the handle. All right. However, man, I got to tell you, it feels good in my hand, you know? It does. If it, it, it fills out my hand real well. It doesn't feel like it's too thin. It's just appropriately sized for the blade and, well, specifically my hand. But real nice, man. I think, I think somebody with bigger hands should be able to to hold and, uh, you know, use this knife without a problem. But each, each, you know, each person is different. All right, troops, listen, that's it, man. I, you know, next step is for me to test this out eventually. And, uh, you know, I was contemplating the, I was contemplating the uh, Patreon route, but, you know, I realized I don't have a lot of users. You know, it's 7,000 is quite a, an accomplishment for me, but I don't think there's going to be that much interest in a Patreon. So I'm going to hold off for now for the Patreon. So I probably will be uh, testing out the knives that I have shown in the past and said, I'm going to go to a Patreon uh, and, and just share, share for now until I guess I reach a, a bigger number. Cause I know there's some content creators out there, you know, they're over a hundred thousand and uh, I went to go look at their Patreon. They have very few patrons on there and pff, I, I doubt I'll get any, you know, even one <laughs> with my numbers. Because most of them, as you know, as probably you all know, is you know people from uh, shorts. So it is what it is, man. And uh, I don't care; it doesn't matter to me, man. So look forward to testing this one out and hoping uh, to bring you some some awesome content in the future. All right, troops, that's it, man. If uh, there are no other questions in the chat section, uh, thank you very much for sticking around, checking this out. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this knife. Don't forget, if you are interested in this combat blade and you think that it might make a good gift for somebody headed into the military or graduating the military, there you go, man. This is a nice knife and uh, at a pretty reasonable price. And from what I've seen, it's a pretty tough knife, you know. I've already tested out one of their 80 CRV2 knives uh, and that was a, 
a modern day puku knife, which is, which was, it did real well. I can't not see that this isn't gonna do well also. However, we all got a test. All right, troops, legionnaires, new recruits, thanks very much. Really appreciate you all checking it out. Um, I wanna bring awareness to everybody, hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans in active military that once they get out of the service, they do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the uh, end of this video, go check out, you know, the comment section, description section. There'll be phone numbers that you can call, websites that you can browse. But most importantly, take that step. Talk to somebody. Reach out to somebody and seek the help you all have earned and deserved. All right, troops, thanks again. Until the, uh, the next premiere or the next video, at the ready, hold the line. Take care.